Now, ultimate power is in your hands. Only with a chaotic collectible tin and scanner deck case. Five tins to collect, each packed with five booster packs. In 2001, trading card games like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering were beginning to gain popularity with collectors across the globe. While Magic the Gathering was designed for an older demographic of players, both Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! were marketed to children and became massive media franchises consisting of video games, animated series, films, manga, and more. With the rising popularity of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh!, other brands began releasing their own trading card games to try and capitalize on the growing demand. One of the most successful brands to take advantage of this opportunity was Chaotic. In this video, I'll explore the background of Chaotic and its eventual demise. Let's get started. Chaotic's origins start in Denmark with Draco Heads, a children's collectible toy line that featured plastic figurines of unique creatures similar to Gogo's Crazy Bones. Anyone else remember those? Anyway, in 2000, a trading card game called Grolls and Gorks was created using creatures featured in Draco Heads. In addition to trading cards, Grolls and Gorks also included plastic coins with the printed images of the creatures. In 2001, Grolls and Gorks was rebranded into Chaotic Now or Never. Under the rebrand, trading cards began being produced that included the creatures from Grolls and Gorks. In addition to the trading cards, a storyline was also created to further develop the brand. In short, the storyline revolved around two boys named Tom and Kazdan who find a pair of rings that allow them access to a fantastical realm called Param. The realm of Param is filled with five tribes of creatures who are searching for a legendary artifact called the Chaos Rock that would allow them to rule all of Param. In the early 2000s, a man named Brian Gannon, who was working at trading card manufacturer Upper Deck as the Vice President of Global Business Development, saw potential in Chaotic Now or Never. He attempted to persuade executives at Upper Deck to purchase the rights to the brand. After failing to convince the executives to purchase the brand, Gannon decided to take over Chaotic Now or Never himself. After signing a licensing contract with 4Kids Entertainment, Chaotic Now or Never was rebranded to just Chaotic, and the cards and storyline were reworked to better appeal to a U.S. audience. In 2007, Chaotic officially launched and quickly gained popularity within trading card game communities. What set Chaotic apart from its competitors was that it was fully optimized for online play. Chaotic had a game portal online that allowed players to create their own profiles and play the card game with friends and other players. Whenever players bought new cards, they could enter the code located at the bottom of the card online to receive a digital copy of the card in their online collection. Another unique aspect of Chaotic was that each creature card had variable stats, so players could have multiple versions of the same card with different stat levels. The Chaotic Trading Card Game had five different card types, which included Creatures, Locations, Battle Gear, Mugic, and Attacks. In the game, two players battle each other using their creature cards and other supporting cards until only one player's creature remains on the board. Launching simultaneously with the Trading Card Game, an animated series of the same name produced by 4Kids Entertainment began airing. The animated series was my introduction to Chaotic, and I remember watching the show on Cartoon Network and Disney XD. The series follows a teenage boy named Tom Majors, who is an avid player of Chaotic Online. One day, he receives a mysterious code in the game, and when he enters the code into his game scanner, he is teleported to Chaotic. Chaotic is an experimental facility 
where other top players can compete against each other in matches. Whenever players compete against each other in Chaotic, they are transformed into the creatures they are using and teleport to the active battle location. Other players could view active matches through monitors located at the facility. Players in Chaotic also had the ability to use their game scanners to teleport to the world of Param. In Param, the creatures, locations, and items from the Chaotic Online game actually exist, and players can use their game scanners to scan the creatures, locations, and items to use them later in battle. Over the course of the show, the four main characters, Tom, Kaz, Sarah, and Peyton, interact with the various creatures that inhabit Param and build relationships with them. There are five tribes that make up Param, which include Overworlders, Underworlders, Mypedians, Danians, and Marillians. A unique aspect of the show was how when new creatures, locations, and strategies were introduced, they would also appear in the new card sets. The connection between the show and the card game made the brand more engaging for its fan base and set it apart from its contemporaries. The first season of the show was animated by Canadian animation studio Barbell Entertainment and featured an animation style similar to 16. The second and third seasons of the show were animated by South Korean animation studio Dong Woo Animation and the animation style was done in a more traditional style. The show aired for three seasons from 2006 to 2010 with a total of 79 episodes. Currently, the series is available to stream on Tubi, Amazon Prime, and Peacock. In 2009, the video game Chaotic Shadow Warriors was released on the Nintendo DS, Wii, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. The game received mixed reviews and was largely dismissed by the fanbase because of its lackluster gameplay and visuals. At its peak, Chaotic was the third most popular trading card game in the US, surpassing Magic the Gathering and falling just behind Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. It seemed that Chaotic was on track to become a staple in the trading card game space, but sadly, its collapse was right around the corner. In 2010, the Chaotic television series was abruptly cancelled, the trading card game ceased all production, and the online game portal was taken offline. The surprising cancellation of Chaotic left fans to ask, what happened? For years, fans speculated on what caused the downfall of Chaotic. The common belief among fans as to why Chaotic was dissolved was that 4Kids TV attempted to claim complete ownership over all Chaotic properties, which resulted in a lengthy legal battle. According to the rumors, the judge allegedly put a hold on all things chaotic so that neither party could produce chaotic merchandise, and as a result, the brand lost a majority of its fan base over the following four years the case was on trial. However, there's currently no evidence that this lawsuit ever happened. So what did happen? The Great Recession of 2008 marked a sharp decline in economic activity and had a devastating impact on almost every industry. 4Kids Entertainment was hit hard by the recession and they were losing a significant amount of money. They began laying off employees and reducing operating costs to try and offset their losses. They were relying on Chaotix merchandise sales each quarter to try and stay afloat, but unfortunately the sales were not meeting their projections and in 2010, 4Kids Entertainment declared bankruptcy. This announcement officially marked the end of Chaotic, and the brand faded into obscurity. In recent years, Brian Gannon has expressed interest in reviving Chaotic after regaining the rights to the brand in 2014. In various interviews, He's mentioned that he has met with several production companies about reviving the brand. 
he stated that he's interested in bringing back the trading card game, TV show, and online game. He has not yet announced when he plans on re-releasing Chaotic, but fans are excited at the possibility of seeing their beloved property regain its place in the trading card game community. Brian seems legitimately passionate about the brand and its fan base, and I would love to see Chaotic make a successful comeback after its disappointing end. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming out soon. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section down below. See you next time.